all right all right guys um so let's go ahead and continue with our class in our last session we, we stopped at um elements so now gallery um in the most interesting part of it gallery do you understand some of you will be thinking how, how will i bring in my picture my picture from my phone memory into the uh, work i'm doing maybe my cropped picture because I know in the free, in the free class I handled, uh, we talked about how to crop an image and save it into your frame memory for free. Do you understand? So now, how to bring in the document, uh, the picture that I've already cropped into my documents. So now, look here. Uh, follow me up um, very carefully. Here is the gallery. You click on gallery. allow it to load it will load so now um, let's um, let's assume that you have a specific uh, a specific uh, folder where you stored your picture or where your picture is being stored at so now you just look look at what you're going to do look up here yeah we have recent you tap there the small arrow uh, the icon it they all it to bring out um, some some options some folder options which you can select from you understand i have screenshots pixel lab facebook download uh, phs downloads my pictures let me assume i want to go to my status um my pictures i click on okay let me assume that uh, the picture i'm looking for is saved at telegram okay let me just go ahead oh no on download download is fine let me check the download this download so let me open it from download download that's from my own end i don't know about you where you saved yours so that's it do you understand so now let me let me search for one picture and bring it in into our design okay right all right let me go ahead and take this picture down all i have to do is just tap on the picture it will select one i can select two select in as much as i can but i only need this one all right so all i will need all i need to do is tap on add to page down here add to page right up it will be added to our page that's all and it will be uploaded so the difference between gallery and uploads anything you bring in it to your design it will be marked as an uploaded document for you to be graded as an upload for you do you understand so when we check our updates uploads you find out that they are all images that are brought in into our into my design can you see that they are all documents that i've done already which i brought into my canva app so they are being saved as my uploaded files on canva do you understand even though they i lose them from my phone i can actually get them from my canva uploads i've uploaded them into my canva uh, for designs maybe like um your logo you have a logo you can upload your logo into canva once then you just go to your upload and find instead of looking searching for it through your phone memory just go to your uploads and get it directly so i also have some audios that i've uploaded already i've uploaded some audios i've uploaded some audios you understand I have so many of those which I have uploaded. You understand? So, so that's that. Alright. Um, I'm coming. Coming. Let me turn something over. Coming. So, still on the gallery. Once you tap on it. Okay. Okay. Still on the gallery. You can actually bring an image you want to bring in understand can actually bring any image you want to bring it so uploads is the product of the what you've uploaded from your gallery do you understand the outcome of and you can also you can also uh, look at this the music that i uploaded from my phone you see that i can actually bring it to my design as well if i just tap on it it will be uploaded into my document look at that so now this my document is now seen as an as a video so once i tap on this once I tap on the on the arrow up here, you find out that you start reading as a as a as a video. Look at that. 
Did you see that? Did you see that? So that's that. So now the next one, the next option there. Tests, which is the most interesting one because you can make a design without adding a test which passes on information. So now let's go ahead and um, check it out immediately. So now when you click on your test, 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 testing time, click on tests. When you tap there, you got so many options. So many, 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 many options. You can actually scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, select from a specified um I already made templates. Uh, these are already made for you. You can actually import any one of them and use them in your design. Uh, let's assume you are looking for item and pricing. Uh, you can just select this. This. It will be imported into your design. Can you see that? I just selected it and it was, it was imported into my design. Can you see that? Let me change the color so that you see what I'm talking about. Did you see that? I just clicked on it and it was imported into my design. Did you see that? Okay, so let's go back to the test. So now, to save ourselves from all of this stress, uh, if you have a custom, um, you want to start up your own test, look here. There's a heading. There's a subheading. And also a little body test. So, I can click on my heading. Let me go ahead and delete this code one. You can click on my heading. It will now tell you add heading. Do you understand? Add heading. Add heading. So now add a heading now. So we are now talking about test. We are going deeply on only test now. I want us to deal with test now in a very serious way. So now right now. Once you click on any element, let me delete all of this so that you understand everything I'm talking about. Let me delete all these old, old ones. Let me give it a black so that we we'll deeply study about this test. Okay. So now we are talking about only test in particular now so that we we'll got to know about it because this is the interesting part of design in, um, in graphic design. So once you click on the test, when you, look, when you look down here, you see that the options down here will change automatically. Do you understand? When you click on the page, you see that the options you find there, they are not familiar when you click. Unlike when you tap on the test, the ones you tap on the test now, you see, they will be familiar to test. Can you see that? So now, the first option there, edit. When you tap on edit, is to change the test. Like I want to, let's say, smartphone smartphone design class smartphone design class do you understand with canva trade up you see that so that's for that so the second the second um, option there is a uh, font the second option is fonts the third one is font size so let's font is to change um, the style of the font you are using so depending on the font you want to use like i have so many options here this is agandre agandre medium monstrat classic uh every fat face abz do you understand look at them all here if you have a specified one you can actually search it so let me just search one now let me say play fair display uh, play fair play fair display black okay that's it i'll just tap on it you see that i'll just tap on it it will be applied that's it you see that cannot then the third option here which is the font size here once you tap on the font size you can actually drag drag your font to the size you want it to be you understand once you are dragging this uh this uh, line it will be changing to be changing most of the times you bring it to the end and you see that it's not up to the the height the size you want to bring it you can actually just click on inside this boss click inside that boss is 144 now i can increase it to 300 i can 
you see that any size you want to make it i can still reduce it to 150 you see that aside from 150 i can still even reduce it to let's say 130 130 or 120 120 okay so there's what we call padding padding in design now let me reduce this now when you watch here this middle one i can actually drag the middle one here from here drag it closer so my my test won't go beyond that because if i should if i should actually release it you see that my test will be long but i want it to go down i'll just zoom see that then also i want to i want to tell you one thing when you are making a design always zoom to see what you are actually doing do you understand don't be a, don't be the kind of person that will be designing on just a, a small sheet at the end of the day you will make a visual look of what you are what you are giving out to your clients always view view what you are giving out check if they are properly aligned in this order you see that always check if they are properly aligned can you see that so now i also want to make this one to be aligned that's you see that see that my now my test is actually at the middle of our design so now the next option there is a color color you can actually select a color here these are custom default colors which you can use or if you don't have any color here all these ones they are different color which you can use but if you are not satisfied with all of this you can just come here here there's cross sign tap on it uh then it will give you options for you to make your own selection you can actually drag like this you can tap anywhere anywhere in this column anywhere in this area you can tap there if you want to go something uh bluish or reddish you click on red on purple on blue on blue on green on yellow on yellow in that order do you understand so you can actually tap there then select uh, do around with all of this you can do around with any of them on purple do around with any of them so that's how that's how it's been done here you can do around with any of the any of the tools here do you understand so that's all for for the color so also the next one is format format this uh, test formatting a test uh, for for those of us familiar with microsoft word they will be familiar with this part of this uh, this uh, part of it the first one here is bold to bold in a test to make it more darker the second one italics the third one on the line and this other one to make everything capital change case so if i tap on this third one the last one here okay let's start from the first one is bold the second one is italics look at it if i click there everything will be slanty look at my design look at my design now everything is not slanty so the third one um is underlined if i tap there my test will be underlined see that then the last one if i click there uh my test will be formatted into capital letter if I also click there it will go back if i click there capital letter small letter Do you understand capital uh, upper case uh, lower case or upper case lower case that's all so then here the second uh, part of it is alignment this is a very aspect of design which which some designers do miss and once you miss it you can never get a good design this is right alignment this is center alignment and the other one um sorry this is left alignment center alignment right alignment and justification to justify your test do you understand then lastly we have bullets and numbering this is bullets you know what bullet is being called is called now and this is numbering to number one two three in that order so now right now we're going to talk about um 
Then also, if you are making a design, you want to go back to the previous design. There's what we call the undo and redo here. So let me just go ahead and undo and take it back to the normal default. I will start. I will uh, continue clicking there until I guess what I want. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Wow, okay. Excuse me, my app is loading. My phone is updating some products. Okay. So now, um, spacing, spacing. Okay. Let me take this back to, okay. Now, spacing. Spacing. So once you click on spacing, if you if you keep on dragging this, dragging this or dragging this, you see the effect. This one is for the letter. See, I'm gapping the letters now, giving them more gap. Then I'm also bringing them closely. Did you see that? I'm taking the very close, and I'm taking them far. And I'm also bringing them to you see you see that then this one the down one line spacing is for the line to bring line closer to the other line and to also gap line very far away from the other line and to bring it closer to another line you see that so that's all you need to know about the spacing that's all then effects Effects here is uh, to add effect to the test. Do you want to give it a shadow, a lift, a halo? Look at what is called halo. Or do you want to give it a, 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 a shadow? So let's select the color of the shadow. Or uh, let's say black, uh, color that will appear. See that? You see that? So that's it. Then now um, we'll talk about it. only inside the effects. We have so many other options here. You understand which things like this. Um, things like this. Do you understand? So, so there are so many effects there. Then this the other one is animate like. Uh, when you are making video, you want to animate your test. The way your uh, test flies in and flies out, you tap on animate here. Animate. You can select the, you see it. You can select the effects which your test applies with, appears with, or it flies in. Do you understand? You see that? So, you got so many options here. So don't worry, don't panic. Um, in this class, we'll be taking it bit by bit until you guess. So well, you know, once we are done with exploring the uh, Canva tools, we will now start up designs. Uh, do you understand? We'll be making our designs on daily basis. On daily basis. Okay, so... The third one is transparency. Transparency. When you talk about transparency, it's actually to fade out uh, something... Maybe a design, uh, further to design a picture, a text, or an element. So now, if I'm dragging this thing down, I notice that the test is fading. So I'm, I'm reducing the transparency of the, I'm making it transparent. So as you can see through the test, the, maybe elements at the back of the test can be transparent, you can view it. So that's, that's what transparency does. Do you understand? So... Look at that. I can still take it back so that my test will be visual enough. Then the the other space their position. When you click on position, you can decide to keep it at the middle, then left, center, right, at your top. Okay, can you see that? So the other thing when you are working with Canva, also make sure the ruler is um, aligned. Canva automatically shows you the ruler. 
So like when I'm dragging this now, when I was dragging this thing now, you notice that there's a center line. This center purple line that appeared showing me that my my test is still in control, my alignment is still in control. I'm 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 on a straight line. Uh, do you understand? So I'll just leave my design. But if the purple line didn't appear, that means I'm not uh, in a straight line. So uh, let's continue. Which other one remaining there? Nudge. Very, very important. This nudge helps a lot. When you are making designs that your hand can move, like the way I'm moving this one, uh, trying to get uh, accurate, trying to get it accurately. Do you understand? So I'll just use my nudge, take it a bit. My nudge will help me to move it well. See the way it's moving now. It's moving with my nudge. Can you watch? Just watch this line. I will use my nudge to um, actually uh, figure out all those ones to make sure everything aligns with my nudge. See that? I uh, watch. Watch. Just watch out. The S will now be in alignment to the ruler. Did you see that? So that's the work of the nudge. So you can actually add comments to designs. Maybe smartphone graphic, uh, uh, smartphone design class with Canva. Number one, number one project at hand. Uh, let me just comment number one project at hand. So this one is mostly for assignments. Like when um, some of us have, have attended the higher institutions, when you when you when you make a, a, your assignments on what documents and your lecturer is pay, is going through it. The lecturer will add some notes at the at the at the by the side that's comments telling you that look at what you are supposed to do and look at what you are not supposed to do. So this way will make the comments. So when someone sees this design, it will know that there is a comment. So the person needs to read the doc the comment made on the on the particular the particular portion. So another one is link. You can actually add link to this smartphone so that when someone taps on this uh, smartphone design class with Canva. It will take the person to the link, the appropriate link. You will just paste the link here. There, do you understand? So another one is lock. You can actually lock the design. You will lock it. Once you lock it, I can't be able to move it. Look at. I can't be able to move it now. This smartphone, I can't be able to look it. So once I'm on lock, I cannot move it. Can you see? I can move it now. See, I'm, I've unlocked it so I can move it. So, um, without wasting much of our time, I think we are done for now. Then, another thing, this particular dot, these three dots at the end in here, more. Once you click there, you can actually copy this uh, test and paste it. I've copied, I've pasted. So, we now have two of it here. Then also, when you are selecting the test i want to select these two at once so that i can move them or i can delete them these two now so when i click on the first one go to my more select multiple look at it select multiple so i'll select one sorry when i click there select multiple i'll select the other one the two of them is not selected can you see that i can move them so i can equally group so they are now in one group I've actually grouped them and also I can download only this selection without downloading the full document I'll just download only this selection which I have selected I can actually add link lock or delete them that's it so that's all for tests so I believe with everything about tests we've talked we discussed it anything you want to if you want to play around your test do anything with tests you can do it so that's um that's all about for tests. So in our next class we'll be talking about so many other um we'll be talking about so many other um, options. Do you understand? We will maybe uh, next time we talk about shape. So for now, that's all for this class. So in the next class we'll talk about shape.